Hi. In this video, we learn about the concept of change of base. And the change of base concept is very important in log reading because there are some logarithmic expressions or equation that does not look conducive for us. For example, if we have log five and we have a base of root two, this expression here does not look good for us based on the um, base we are giving is not conducive. So we need to employ a technique that is useful for us to be able to simplify this expression. And that is a change of base. So in this video, we derive the expression for change of base and also we solve some problem using change of base. So if we have that, let log x to base a is equal to y. Now, by definition, this expression here is in this form, I'm written as x equal to a to the power of y. Let's go here, equation one. Now, if we take the log of both sides, with any base, let's say base B, you can have that this becomes log X in base B equal to log A to the power of Y or in base B. Now, recall that from the index law of logarithm, here can be expressed as Y multiplied by log A to base B. So therefore, our equation now becomes log x in base b equal to y multiplied by log a to base b. But we said that let y be equal to log x to base a. So therefore, if we substitute the value of y into the equation here, we have it that this becomes log x to base b equal to log x in base a multiplied by log a in base b. Now, looking at the expression here, we can divide through by log a to base b. So here be divided by log a to base b, and also here divided by log a to base b. So log a to base b cancels out. So we have it that log x in base a is equal to log x in base b all divided by log a in base b. So we have been able to prove that log x in base a is equal to log x to any base say base b, divided by log a to base b. First, it follows that log m in base a is equal to log m in base b, divided by log a to base b. So therefore, where b can be any base. So now at this point, we have been able to prove and derive the formula for the change of base. Now let's take some examples to strengthen our knowledge of the change of base. Now look at these three questions we have. We are asked to simplify the following. Log 16 in base root of two, log 81 in base root of three, and log 32 in base 0 0.25. Now, we will take it one after the other. Let's consider the first question given to us. So we have that log of 16 in base root of two. So we know that from our knowledge of change of base, we choose a convenient base for us that can help us simplify this problem. So we are taking base two. So this becomes log of 16 
in base 2 or divide by log of root 2 or in base 2. Now at this point, this can also be written as log 2 to the power of 4 if we express 16 in the powers of base 2. And here is base 2 or divide by and this becomes log 2 to the power 1 divided by 2, or in base 2. Now, from the index law of logarithm, this can be written as 4 multiplied by log 2 to base 2, or divide by 1 divided by 2 multiplied by log 2 to base 2. Now, we know that logarithm to each base is 1, so log 2 to base 2 is 1, and also log 2 to base 2 is 1. So the equation now becomes 4 divided by 1 divided by 2. And this can be expressed as 4 multiplied by 2 divided by 1. Thus, we have it that our answer is equal to 8. So therefore, log 16 in base root of 2 is equal to 8. So now let's take the question number two. So we have it that log 81 in base root three, we are asked to simplify this expression. Now, from the knowledge of change of base, choosing any component base, and the base we're choosing is base three, this can be written as log 81 in base three, or divide by log root 3 or in base 3. Now we can express 81 in the powers of base 3. So this becomes log 3 raised to the power of 4 or in base 3 divided by log 3 raised to the power of 1 divided by 2 or in base 3. Now from the index log logarithm, record that if we have log of m raised to the power of a or in base b, this can be written as a multiplied by log of m in base b. So we apply this rule here, which is the index law of logarithm. Now we have that this becomes 4 multiplied by log 3 to base 3, or divide by 1 divided by 2 multiplied by log. 3 to base 3. Now, logarithm to each base is 1. So this becomes 4 divided by 1 divided by 2. So this can further be expressed as 4 times 2 divided by 1, which is equal to 8. So therefore, log 81 in base of root 3 is equal to 8. Now, let's take the last question. So we have it that log of 32 in the base of 0 0.25. But recall that the decimal 0 0.25 can be expressed as 25 divided by 100. So if 25 divided itself, we have 1. 100 divided by 25, we have 4. So this is equal to 1 divided by 4. Thus, our logarithmic expression can now be written as log of 32 in the base of 1 divided by 4. Now, at this point, we can apply the technique of change of base using base 2 as a convenient base. So we have it that this becomes log of 32 in base 2 or divided by log 1 divided by 4 or in base 2. Now, also recall that 1 divided by 4 can be expressed as 4 to the power of negative 1. Now, at this point, if we express 4 in the powers of base 2, this is equal to 2 to the power of negative 
32. Also, 32 can be expressed in the powers of base 2, which is 2 raised to the power of 5. So, therefore, if we substitute, we have that this is log 2 raised to the power of 5, or divide by log 2 raised to the power of negative 2, or in base 2. Now, also from the index law of logarithm, we know that if we have log of m raised to the power of p or in base a, this can be expressed as p multiplied by log m in base a. So therefore, the expression becomes 5 multiplied by log 2 to base 2 divided by minus 2 multiplied by log 2 to base 2. Now, log 2 to base 2 can cancel out. So therefore, we'll be left with 5 divided by minus 2, which can further be expressed as minus 5 divided by 2. So with these examples, we are able to apply the technique of change of base when we are giving a base in a logarithm that is not conducive. So I hope you have learned something. And if you know you found the video helpful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.